What's up, guys? This is Losh. And Lo. And we are here to talk to you about another fun and interesting topic. If you haven't checked out our first video about our adventures at Florida Supercon, uh, definitely check it out below. You can see some of our previous videos. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. We really appreciate your support. But we are going to talk about something fun today. So Sophia and I just so both happen to be millennials. I was born at the start of the generation. She was born at the end of the generation. 33? 14. So it's really interesting when you look at the fact that we're in the same generation. We couldn't be more different people. We really couldn't. And Sophia and I were talking a little while ago, and she had asked me what high school was like for me. And I thought, wow, that's a loaded question. <laughs> There are so many awkward answers I could give. Why not just record them on a video and post it to YouTube? Why not? Sure. Thought it was kind of fun. So I'll give you a little bit of background. I went to Mel High, a.k.a. Melbourne High, in Melbourne, Florida. I graduated in 2002. So my 15-year anniversary was this year. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, you graduated when I was getting ready to be born. So. Yeah. Um, high school was fun. You know, I'm not going to lie, high school was a blast. I played a couple of different sports. I was involved in a couple of different teams. Um, after school activities, I had a job, I had a girlfriend. Uh, I had all sorts of stuff that was going on. High school was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. You know, and growing up in Melbourne, growing up, staying in the same hometown, there were people I graduated high school with that I had known since elementary school. And so for those of you who may be watching right now who actually went to high school with me, hi! Uh, some of you I still talk to, some of you I don't. Uh, you know, I've kept in touch with a handful of friends that I've known forever, and there are other people that I haven't kept in touch with, and that's just because of life, and that's just because maybe we weren't that close in high school. It's not a bad thing, it's just a thing. But, you know, when we got to talking about what high school was like for me, and then what Sophia's getting ready to experience high school for this one starts in just a few weeks. Two weeks, to be exact. How do you feel? I'm very scared. Um, I'm also kind of nervous because... I just came out of a K-8 school, so Port St. Lucie doesn't really have middle schools. I've been to a middle school, Southwest Middle School, in seventh grade, and that was different, but going to a K-8 school, I was going to school with five-year-olds and six-year-olds. Now I'm going into a school with 17, 18-year-olds, so I'm definitely... Well, you're still going to go to a school with five-year-olds. It's just going to be a mental five years old. Right. Yeah. Be prepared for that. We have this running joke. Yeah. There was, yeah. <laughs> You knew exactly where I was going. <laughs> Sophia, when she was at a different junior high before we had moved, uh, there was a kid running down, a boy running down the halls pretending he was a race car. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All the way to lunch. So, you know, you're, <laughs> you're going to get into high school and guys are still going to be doing that kind of stuff. And in fact, when you get to be my age, guys are still going to be doing stupid kind of stuff. So uh, that does never stop. I have a question for you. Ask away. So playing sports, is it more difficult to make a team in high school than it is in a junior high or in an elementary school? Um, yes. Yeah, that's, that's definitely for sure. So my background a little bit, I was on the wrestling team. Wrestling did not have a tryout. Wrestling was more of like an after school, I hate to call it a club. Um, you know, how good you were and what weight class you were in obviously determined whether you were junior varsity or varsity. Uh, I did not wrestle varsity. I wrestled JV. Um, frankly, I was not that good. I'd only wrestled for one season, then I hurt my knee, and uh, didn't wrestle much after that. Uh, but it was still good. It was still a great workout. Basketball, I played basketball in rec leagues there in West Melbourne. I played for the Police Athletic League. I did not make my high school basketball team. In fact, mm -hmm. I didn't even try out. I enjoyed playing at the rec league level, but I knew that skills-wise, uh, I wasn't good enough to you make the high school team. for it. No, and there was nothing wrong. It wasn't a skills situation. Mm -hmm. Size-wise, wasn't as tall as a lot of the guys who were on the team. And some of them had been playing together for a number of years. And mm -hmm. I just didn't have that same uh, bond, I guess, with some of those players. Right. So I knew where I was, and I wasn't going to go up against a losing proposition. Still loved playing basketball. Still had a ton of fun with it. But um, when you get into high school and you start trying out for some of these teams, the competition is pretty crazy. Even going to conditioning and seeing some of the girls, it's like they had been playing their whole life. And I only started in the seventh grade, so, or technically eighth grade. So, yeah. Like, they have been playing since they were little, five, six years old. They just started playing basketball. And for me, I'm still new to it. I mean, I've played around, but I've never played on a team until my eighth grade year of school. You're going to find a lot of people. I'll never forget. There's a guy named. 
Kenny something or other when I was in high school. Um, played for Satellite High. Was always in the newspaper and was always this and that. And, and you're going to start to see, especially in the local newspapers, the people that are just doing amazing with whatever sport that they play, mm-hmm. whether it's swimming or golf or football. tennis, football especially. Uh, we had a couple of people in our high school that were really popular for wrestling. Um, you know, there were a couple of other people that went to Palm Bay High. Uh, I remember that started, um, one of them was a center for the Gators. I mean, you're going to see some people that, that go on to actually play college ball. Mm-hmm. And, and that's what's going to be kind of neat. But those people are not your norm you know they're, they're going to be some folks that are really impressive athletes mm-hmm. and uh yeah it's, like it's going to be different popular. Just, they're very known that's a different subject <laughs> just because you're popular doesn't mean you're necessarily good at sports there and the are. people who are good at sports aren't necessarily popular so that's what's kind of fun we've had a lot of conversation about this and i, I told sophia at many different times and again if anybody's watching that i went to high school with this is gonna be so much fun to see what your comments are um uh, i didn't fit into one group at least I don't think I did. I just like to be friends with everybody. You know, I had I had a whole group of friends. I mean, I was a weird kid. I liked listening to Corn and Limp Biscuit, and yeah, you can laugh. I don't care. Um, corn. Corn. That's right. You have little Uzi Vert. I mean, <laughs> Twenty One Savage. Twenty One Twenty One Designer. With like ninety seven eyes and designer. So you can make fun of Corn all you want, but let's talk about some of your music. Um, you know, the funny thing was, is I, I like to be friends with a lot of different. And I talked to people who, uh, it was it was hilarious because Mel High was this melting pot of kids who came over from the beach, Melbourne Beach, some that were in the you know, Indian Harbor Beach satellite area, and then uh, Palm Bay and West Melbourne. And it was just mm-hmm. such a mixing of cultures. I mean, you had straight up true stereotypes. Kids showing up in Wranglers and in Super flannel, needs. wearing cowboy hats, dudes that were stoned out of their mind. Plenty of guys that would go check Fifth Avenue surf conditions before coming into school uh, just because they wanted to see what the waves looked like. Um, plenty of just weird kids, goth kids. I mean, you're going to see every stereotype known to man. Right. I don't know if that exists today, so it's going to be really funny. Know. You know, um, when you get to your first day of school, you're going to have to come home and tell me what you actually saw. I mean, going, because we had our ninth grade orientation, so just walking into Central, Fort Pierce Central, I was just kind of trying to take it in, looking around, and the campus is huge. Yeah. It's like a college campus. I feel like I'm going to get lost on my first day, and I don't even, I have nowhere to go. I don't know where to go. Just seeing all the different kids. Class? Besides class. Please go to class. (laughs) Don't start your day off like that. No. I just feel like I'm going to get my schedule all mixed up. You know, I did that last year at Westgate, and ended up getting my schedule changed because of it. Well, the best part is on the first day, people aren't going to know. But if you exactly. if, if they start calling names and taking role and then you're just that weird kid sitting there who nobody ever called your name, you're gonna be like, I need to leave. You're gonna do the walk of shame to the door. Exit stage left. <laughs> uh, you know, and that's what's gonna be really funny is is you know so where Sophia is going to high school, she hasn't grown up with any of these kids. No. You know, she's not. literally gone to school with them for the last year that we've lived here. For me, it was a lot different. So when you asked me what high school was like, it was the same people that I was friends with went to school in a row. for, at that point, 10, 12 years. You know, some of them I went to uh, pre-K with, mm-hmm. you know. So that was the advantage I had growing up with the same group of people. Well, I guess maybe advantage or disadvantage. I don't know. Um, but it was interesting. So, no, I didn't fit in any one group or, or hang out with any one particular group of people. I was mm-hmm. just kind of friends with everybody. Um, or at I'm, least I thought I was. I'm definitely like that. I mean, I don't really... I don't think that I fit in one group because, you know, I'm basketball, my friends, there are some kids, like my smarter group of friends, I guess you could say. Honor roll students. Talking about nerds? I'm talking about honor roll students. Like, I'm an honor roll student, so we all kind of group together. It's like, I just, I'm friends with everybody. You're talking about nerds? Yeah, talking about nerds. That's fine. I get along with you, and you're a nerd, so boom. Accurate. So, what are you most afraid of for the first day? First day? Um, kind of standing out. Like, what I mean by standing out. You know what's out? really funny? When you said standing out, that song from the Goofy movie actually played just now by Powerline. <laughs> it, come on, I mean, guys, if you're nerds, fine. But the, let, let's go the Goofy movie. Disney, come on. Stand down. No, don't sing. The crowd, even if I got to shout out loud. <laughs> Why are you singing? I wasn't singing. I was just... You guys understand, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. 
No, I mean by standing out. a power line shirt this weekend, too. I mean by standing out because I feel like I'm going to walk into school, go to breakfast on the first day, and everybody's just going to stare at me. And another one of my fears is walking into my classrooms and then seeing I have no friends. How do you think it was for me? I'm going to walk in and be like, oh my So God. my first day of high school, I'll never forget this. My first day of high school, I go into Mr. Sullivan's English class. And we had to go around the room and use some kind of descriptive word uh, to break out of our shells. Or it's just, I don't know what the purpose of the assignment was. But I guess it was to, to make us think about ourselves in a certain context and use a descriptive word. And it had that word had to start with the uh, first letter of our first name. So I was Jovial Josh. What does that even mean? I was funny. I was happy. I was... Uh, you were Jovial? I was... <laughs> I like to make jokes. This kid's got jokes. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan was a fantastic English teacher. And in fact, that class where we had to open up and make friends, there were a lot of people that I still talk to to this day or I'm still friendly with to this day. Uh, but I remember that being my very first period and making friends in that class. And then shortly thereafter, going to the movies as a group and actually went to the movies to go see The Sixth Sense. And while we were sitting in the theater, no, we didn't know he was a ghost. Spoilers. Oh my gosh. Another thing that I'm afraid of for school is definitely the cafeteria. First day, you don't know who to sit with, and you kind of don't really know who your friends are anymore. Because some kids you didn't really hang out with over the summer. Okay. So you kind of walk in and you're like, I don't want to sit at this table alone, because then I'm going to look like a loner. But then again, I don't want to sit with her because we had our differences last year, and I don't know if we're friends. It's like, where do I go? What do I do? Should I be like, hey, who can I sit with? Like that? Like, stuff that I should do. So you're just worried about standing out and being a loner and you wanted to <laughs> grab your tray and go, hey, who do I sit with? <laughs> yes, I'm worried about that. <laughs> well, that's one way to get people laughing and maybe you could sit down and talk to somebody and they'll be like, wow, that weird girl with the tray. I mean, she seemed like she needed a friend and maybe she ate glue before she came here. What? <laughs> I don't know. So lunch was always a weird one. I hung out with the same people. Now, part of this is going to be your lunch period. Whatever classes okay. you're in, that's just who you're going to go with. Right. Okay. And then other people from other classes, maybe their lunch is five minutes different than yours. That's that's how ours was structured. But I always used to hang out with the same people. So here's a blast from the past. If you guys know any of these folks, or maybe you're watching right now, uh, Andy Bell. I don't know. I don't know what the hell happened to that guy. <laughs> um, gosh, who else? Brittany Kearns. Sarah Bowden, Carrie Greiner. There were a lot of these people that I just ended up having to have the same classes with, or they were just people that I was friends with. And it's funny because none of those people were people that I was friends with in junior high. They came over from the beach. So mm -hmm. I made new friends. Right. These were new people, but I ended up having lunch with them all the time. And then, you know, obviously, uh, first half of the year, you have one period. Uh, second half of the year, you're going to have a different okay. lunch period, mm -hmm. so you're going to meet new people, and that's all going to change you. When you get four months into school, and you develop a rhythm, and you're comfortable, mm -hmm. it will change. Sweet. It will. Sounds great. But no, I don't recommend on day one in the cafeteria going, who I said with? Oh, man. That was the plan. I mean, you can still do it. I'm going to do that in registration. Who I said with? <laughs> Registration was great. High school registration, my mother decided to embarrass me any which possible way that she could. So, of course, there was a group of girls that were standing there and me, uh, super awkward, nerdy guy. Ladies. No, I wasn't looking good at all. I had just had blood work the morning of registration and had passed out. So I was still, like, pale and pasty and sweaty. And, you know, my mom's like, what's your locker combination? And there's a group of girls that were standing there looking at me like, a little bit, actually. My mom was great at embarrassing me. Open your locker just to make sure. All right, Mom. Oh, oh hey, I got the combination. Do it again. Okay. Well, let's just go. And then, of course, my brother and sister were there, and my dad was laughing at me the whole time. That's what I remember registration. So pale, pasty, sweaty, laughed at. Him, when we had my eighth grade registration, he just said, Loaf, loaf, is this your classroom? <laughs> Do you think he's cute? <laughs> Yes! I was like, I don't know him. And he's just randomly pointing. And he'll do it even when we're at the mall. What? You said he's cute? Like, I didn't do any of that. So now when we go to Disney, I try to get even with him. And I, I'm like, hey, Josh, you said you had to go number two? You had to? 
See, that doesn't embarrass me. It doesn't. It doesn't I can't. Do I better. Can't win. Do better. Win. No, because it, I laugh at myself. This one over here, I'm trying desperately to get her to further develop her sense of humor. I don't have any. This YouTube video series that we're doing, I think, will actually help her. I don't have a sense of humor like that. Please. But, you know, that's that's the one thing. You have to be able to laugh at yourself. You're going to have an awkward moment. At some point, you're going to trip and fall into something. I've I was big that. and goofy and white, and I did that daily. Daily. I still do that daily. Um, but it's going to happen. Yeah. And you're going to meet people on the very first day, and they're going to come up and be like, Hey, what's your name? And you're going to be like, Sophia. <laughs> or, you might actually tell them your name is Loaf. No. That's not happening. Sense of humor. <laughs> Either way, on your first day of high school, I think what you need to do is go into it with an open mind, mm -hmm. figure out your classes. You're going to have plenty of time to make friends, and you're going to meet people on the very first day, and you're going to find out what classes they came from, what their stories are, what their backgrounds are, and it's going to be pretty neat. And you're going to get to meet a lot of people that you will stay friends with for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Um you know, high school should be the most fun that you have for a very long time. You're going to have high school reunions. You're going to go back and visit these people. You're going to do all sorts of stuff. And it should be memories that you have that you're fond of. The one thing I will caution you on, and this was my failing. This was where I got myself into trouble. I was never a good student. I never studied. You know, it was funny because in elementary school and in junior high, I was in the gifted programs. I got good grades. I hated algebra. hated algebra. I like it. Um, which is funny now because I have my master's in finance and I love numbers and I love math and I love money. I just hate algebra. Couldn't stand it. Give me a financial formula all day long. Neat. Mm -hmm. Algebra, I hate you. But I, I, I just... find X. <laughs> I can never find it. X needs to go to hell. <laughs> but, you know, the, the thing was is I didn't give as much concentration and effort into studying as I probably should have. Mm -hmm. And I know this is going to sound cliche and I know this is, you know, your stepfather talking to you, but... You have to make time for your grades because making friends and the people you're going to hang out with in that, that part of high school is really important, but college does have to be you know, somewhat your light at the end of the tunnel. Right. And you have to think about what programs you want to get into and what you ultimately want to do with your life. These are big things you need to think about, yes, at 14 years old, but have a general idea. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be a doctor? Do you want to be a lawyer? Do you want to be whatever? Have some kind of a general interest. Right. You know, I had interest in uh, being a... Radiology tech. No. No. Uh, when I hurt my knee when I was in high school and I had to go get x-rayed, I remembered that my knee was out of place and the lady who was doing my x-rays tried to position my leg in such a way that my knee wouldn't bend because it was out of place. Uh, and I just thought, I can't do this as a job. I can't hurt people. I can't look at blood and guts and nasty and know that my, my person on my table is in some sort of pain. My mom ended up going on to be a radiology tech, for those of you who know her, and uh, she has had people die on her table. You don't even like blood. I don't understand why you thought you were going with that. So I changed my major to business. See? Yeah, sometimes. So high school's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. You're going to enjoy it. Definitely it's going to start in a couple of weeks. Football games, basketball games, games, games. <laughs> Grades. 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 Say grades. <laughs> Games. <laughs> Games. Or just say, Games. say things. Grades. Okay. So we're going to bring you more adventures from Sophia's uh, high school first weeks and weird people that she meets and whether or not somebody makes her stand up in an English class and give a descriptive word about her personality. I think I'd be like lavish loaf or like, you know, stylish Sophia. Sneakerhead Sophia. <laughs> See what I did there? Stop it. Just what stop it. <laughs> so uh, we appreciate you guys tuning in. We figured we keep these kind of just short videos or whatever and uh, give you an insight into our world and the weird things that occur. We really appreciate it if you would subscribe. You can follow me on social media on Instagram or on Twitter at Josh Likes Cards. This one doesn't have social media. This is her no. first foray into it, and we're keeping it like this on purpose so that she can learn what it actually means to uh, be a respectable person on social media, how to properly use it, and I think this is going to be a, a neat series. If there are any topics that you'd like us to talk about, any things that you want us to discuss or any comments that you have, we'd love to hear about them. Drop us a comment below if you could. 
Thanks for tuning in, and we will talk to you guys soon.